Hey guys, Christopher Beast here, and update 8.1 has finally been released to Le Public. This update has brought a lot of changes to it, and honestly, in my eyes, one of the most positive updates in all of Avengers history. With the massive changes it brought to gunplay, loot, and with new content, including the legacy seasons, it is something that shows that the devs are still caring about this game and truly listening to community feedback. So, let's get right into this. <laughs> Alright, so let's speed through all the new stuff with this update. Starting with gunplay, gunplay has been completely changed. With Bloombug fixed, full fire fixed, and the SG-1 and H-Bar also being fixed, the game plays like a completely new game. If you weren't a fan of Vigor before, or if you are a fan of Vigor who had a lot of complaints about, you know, RNG in your gunfights because of the Bloombug, or annoyance of the meta being overused, both shouldn't be issues anymore. Gunplay feels more stable and honestly more skill based, which honestly translates to it's more fun. I've had the most fun with the rounds I played today than any other rounds I've played in the entire history of Vigor. On top of this, we also get some brand new content in the form of Legacy Seasons. This is bringing back a past season and allowing you to finally get a chance to play and get these cosmetics and something else to grind for. While not a huge deal, it is nice to have. Next thing, we have the loot POI changes. Loot POIs got a minor rework in that they now have differing loots that, honestly, while they did decrease the amount of loots in the loot POIs because of the more variety in these loot POIs, it should make it so even those of us who run green and blue guns want to hit these locations because they're still pretty important. The most notable change uh, on top of these things is the spawn changes there's now been a change in the way spawns work as there's a bunch of new spawn locations and spawn density has been greatly decreased so that we are more likely to spawn next to a poi as opposed to an enemy player within five meters this has made gameplay feel far better as you're able to jump into the action of a poi very quickly and you don't feel like you load into an encounter you're blasted by some random kid and then get sent right back to the lobby within three minutes However, this doesn't mean that gameplay has gotten slower though. Just because you're not fighting someone in the first 30 to 45 seconds doesn't mean it's hard to find people. And actually, I've been fighting just as many people in the encounters I have had today than I had four days ago when we were in the previous season. On top of all of this though, we do gotta mention some of the caveats of this update. On overall, this is the best update to Vigor. And its changes have brought a great step forward that saying something like this is one massive step forward one step two steps forward one step back would not give it justice it's 13 leaps forward and i accidentally landed on my heel and fell backwards half a step because yes the motion the movement really looks pretty strange right now from what i've heard the uk servers are having some massive issues and there's some issues when it comes to purchasing items in the shop but these issues are nothing compared to Bloombug, a broken meta, and really just the lack of content that Season 8 brought. And I hope you guys are able to agree with me on that. All in all, I don't really think there's too much for me to say here besides go out and play it. And if you don't really understand what's coming in this update, I've already covered it in my update previews, basically everything that's coming. And, and we basically got everything that was promised. So this has been Christopher Beast. I'm sorry I don't have as long of an update video as Boba does. But go out into the outlands and hopefully I run into some of you guys. Till next time, see ya.